This screencast shows how to use Screaming Frog for checking your site's SEO health, such as broken links, uh, to have images, wrong formatted URLs, etc. For starters, you need to have your Screaming Frog SEO Spider actually crawl your site. To make this screencast as practical as possible, I'll show you how I use this um, tool for my own site, webdesign.com. Just specify your URL India enter URL to spider text box, just like this, and hit the start button. If your site is hefty, it can take the crawler a few hours to complete its work. In case your site is a small one, you should be good to go within a few minutes. Now that uh, the crawling is complete, you can see all the URLs crawled. You can use the uh, filters to see specific types of URLs crawled, such as uh, HTML, JavaScript, CSS images, PDF, and Flash. Once you have a certain uh, sort of URLs displayed, for example, uh, CSS, you can export them with the help of the export button, just like so. What's more, you can use the uh, bottom panel, this one. For more info about the URL you selected in the main panel, this one, for example, you can see uh, the URL type, title, if any, status code, size, outlinks, level, and inlinks. Other than that, in the inlinks section, you can see the URLs that point to the selected one. So these pages have links pointing to this page. The outlinks section, this one, displays the links that uh, the selected page has pointing to other sites. In our case, uh, we uh, there is no uh, links on this page that uh, point to other pages. And the image info tab. This one shows image specific data such as uh, which page the image is linked from and a direct link to the image in question. The image tab is, of course, grayed out if uh, the selected URL is not an image. Moving on to uh, the external tab, this section shows specifically external outbound links from uh, your site to others. You may need to use this tab to see what sites you link to. In my particular case, I use the section of uh, the Screaming Frog SEO tool to see my affiliate links. I just search for external links that contain Kenneth Van Roch is one word, which is my affiliate ID. So I just uh, type in my ID and click the search button. So now it shows all the, uh, all the links, outlinks that have Kenneth Van Roch in the uh, URL, for example, here, here, and so on. The response code section allows you to uh, see which pages work, which are redirected, and which have issues, such as no response, client, or server error. As you can see, my site has a few of each sort of errors. No response, success, of course, Redirection, client error, and server error. You need to make sure that uh, you don't have any broken external links because it can decrease your site's user friendliness, and broken links are bad for SEO in general. And I personally should uh, fix all the issues that I'm having here. The URI section. This one makes it possible to find out if your site has any issues with the format of your links. For instance, uh, special characters, underscores, uppercase, duplicate content, dynamic, and over 115 characters. For example, as you can see, 
I have some of the issues with my site as well. All right. Now let's take a look at the page titles section. Since page title is the most important SEO page aspect, other than the actual content, it's really crucial to make sure that uh, you don't have any issues with that. And luckily for me, my site has just about every page title related issue, as you can see right here. Missing, duplicate, over 70 characters, below 30 characters, same as H1, and multiple. Yeah, this one is non absent. That's good. Now let's move to a meta description. Though meta description does not have um, direct influence on your SEO, you still need to ensure that uh, your core pages have appropriate meta descriptions because it can influence your conversion rate. I have a bunch of uh, missing meta description issues, as you can see here, which are caused by the fact that I did not specify any descriptions for my category pages. Plus, I did not block them in robots.txt from indexing. And that's exactly what I'm supposed to do to uh, take care of this issue. Okay, next step. Meta keywords. I'm just going to skip this uh, meta keywords tab because most major uh, search engines are not using keywords for ranking sites. So we're moving right to the H1 tab. It's important to use an H1 tag on every single page on your site. Plus, be sure to use your keyword in it. I have lots of missing H1 issues because I did not forbid indexing category pages, like I said before. Other than that, my logo has the H1 tab, but the actual content is an image. Let me show it. Let me show you what exactly I mean. If you go to webvisit.com and uh, check the source code, you'll see that uh, the H1 tag is over here. It's the actual logo. But, as you can see, the logo has no text. It's just an image. And that's a problem because this way um, it works like this. I basically have an H1 tag on my homepage, but it has no value, no textual value, because it's represented by an image. And that's uh, the actual problem. In other words, my H1 tag is empty. As I have an empty H1 tag in multiple pages, Screaming Frog considers them duplicate ones. See for yourself. Here we go. All of them. What's more, I also have H1 tag content that is over 70 characters. It's over, oh, over here. So I just need to uh, make them shorter. I have multiple H1 tags as well. Basically, that's my empty logo H1 and a post H1, as you can see here. Again, let me show you what I mean. If you go to a, a blog post on my site and uh, check its uh, source code, so, as you remember, my logo is represented by uh, H1, and uh, you can clearly see it here, H1. Other than that, my posts are represented by H1 as well. And that's a problem, because there should be just one h1 tag on a particular page well as your little thumb so that's what i need to fix as well let's move to uh, the next slide h2 the h2 section allows you to uh, filter by missing duplicate over 70 characters and multiple h2 tags my site does have issues in most cases but I personally don't think that missing or multiple H2 tags should be considered errors. What do you think? And one of the most interesting tabs is ahead. Images. 
I'm saying it's interesting because I found out a whole lot of issues with something I never paid enough attention to. For starters, lots of too heavy images. Which means over uh, 100 uh, kilobytes. Plus, some images are missing the alt tag. That's a problem because Google cannot um, figure out what's depicted on your image unless you specify the alt tag. Next tab directives. The directive section displays all sorts of, well, directives. The only thing that I have to point out in this particular case is that all my pages have a rel canonical so that it's obvious which version is initial and that's basically a good idea to do it. Now the custom tab the custom tab is for advanced use and I didn't actually have the chance to figure it out and see how it works. So as you can see uh, the Screaming From tool provides you with lots of valuable info about what's wrong with your site and uh, what you need to fix. If you'd like to get screencasts like this one on a regular basis, please click the uh, subscribe button below to subscribe to the Web as a YouTube channel. Thanks for your time. Bye now. Thank <laughs> you.